<laughs> yeah. But I changed it. We don't have it anymore. But today, the Agua Chingers, the Outsiders. Today, I would like to tell the story of a movie called the a movie and a book. It's actually a book, sweetie. Yeah, by S. E. Hitton. S. E. Hitton. Some broad. No. <laughs> a lady wrote this book. S. E. Hitton. What was her real name? It was Sophia Elaine Hitton. Really? Sophia? I don't know. <laughs> S.E. Hitton. This was a book that my grandmother got me when I was like a seventh grader. Yeah. It's one of the first books I ever read. The Outsiders. Some of you kids are going to recognize Daniel LaRusso here. The Karate Kid. Yeah. Daniel LaRusso, before he became the Karate Kid and then the Karate Man, he's not still calling himself the Karate Kid, is he? <laughs> no, he's the Karate Man. It was in this uh, book called The Outsiders, and it was about the, the greasers in the 50s? Yeah, I think the 50s. The 50s or the 60s? I can never tell anymore. But uh, this is pretty much what Michael Lyons looked like in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> anyway, so back in the days of the grandfathers, there was Daniel LaRusso and um, <coughs> Emilio Estevez, who would one day get, he would get um, in school suspension in the breakfast club. <laughs> That's right. And then there's uh, that guy from Ghost. Uh, he's dead now, too. I should have asked Michael Jackson if he had seen, uh, what's his face here? And then Matt, the other guy, not Matt Damon. He was a big star in the 80s, and he kind of went away. Matt somebody. And then there's that other guy with the good teeth. I used to know his name. But here's uh, Tom Cruise before Scientology. <laughs> Tom Cruise used to have messed up teeth and a tattoo. To get that tattoo covered. And then there's C. Thomas Howell. C. Thomas Howell. And Matthew somebody, Shepard. No, that's a character in the book. No, that's somebody else altogether. I forget who these people are. That guy there is in a commercial for like insure. No, he's an old man. <laughs> Why can't we remember any of their names? I don't know. Matt Dillon. Thank you, Wally Bear. Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon was a big star. And then that guy with the chin. <clears throat> I don't know. Bunch of pretty boys lived together and had grease in their hair, and they were known as greasers. And they were known as the outsiders. They couldn't get into... Uh, Patrick Swayze was like the dad figure, but he was just the older brother. Thank you, Wally Bear. Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze and Matt Dillon. But they were in the, in the old days, gangs, they had some honor. They weren't like the gangs of today. It wasn't like MS-13. They weren't all covered in ugly tattoos. Yes, ugly tattoos, you guys. Nobody's being honest with you. You look ridiculous with all your tattoos. Oh, look at me. I'm MS-13. Oh, I'm so scared. Nah. In, a, in the 50s, all you needed was a jean jacket, some grease in your hair, and a bike chain. Like Joe Biden. Yeah, I think Joe Biden might have been one of the greasers. He had to fight with the... Uh, no, no way. Joe Biden was a soch. A soch? Yeah. On the other side of town, there were the soches, the socialites, the social guys. They were the rich kids. And they wouldn't put grease in their hair. They uh, they liked a dry look. <laughs> yeah. And once in a while, they'd get together and they'd be like, Hey, grease. No, dry look. And and the fighting would continue. They couldn't agree on which was better, greasy hair or dry hair. So they'd, they'd, they'd set a date. Okay, this Saturday, guys. Why don't you meet us at the park? We're going to fight. But no guns. You can bring bike chains, a knife if you must, but mostly we're just going to do karate 
boxing, kickboxing. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, whatever. So the big night comes. The greasers all get together. Daniel LaRusso is there practicing his crane move, wax on, wax off. You know, he's really going to fight them socias. And the socias show up. And they're like, hey, you dirty greasers, let's fight. And it's just like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> fight! Yeah. Hey yeah. And they all start fighting and fighting. And when the dust clears, there's little Daniel LaRusso. Little, little young uh, Ralph Macchio. He's, he's got a bloody knife in his hand. No, wait. That didn't happen at the brawl. That happened later on. After the fight, Daniel LaRusso and his other tough gang member buddy, Pony Boy... <laughs> Pony Boy and Soda Pop? Yeah. That was the other thing. These tough gang members had tough... They didn't have gang names like they do today. They had names like Pony Boy, Soda Pop. Well, then again, the names these days, Little Wayne. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh, I'm my name's Biggie Smalls. And the names are dumb today, too. But anyway, so Soda Pop, Pony Boy, and Daniel LaRusso. They're all hanging around late in, in the park. Some socias come over and they start teasing them or something. So Daniel LaRosa pulls out a knife and he's like, Shh, say hello to my little friend. And he stabs a guy, kills him. And they're like, oh, wow, what'd you do, Danny? You know, you're just supposed to fight Joe, Joe Biden style. Take, you know, behind a woodshed. You don't, you don't kill him. So off they go. They go hiding out in the country. And they find this old beat up house or something. A church, I think. Old beat up church. And, and they dye their hair blonde in case the cops come looking. They're like, hey, you two guys, you match the description of these greasers. But, you know, I guess your hair is blonde, so you're probably not them. We're looking for a couple of Jews, or Italians, I guess, or whatever, Danny. LaRusso, yeah, he's a he's an Italian. And but eventually somehow there's a big fire and they save a little girl's life, but Danny LaRusso gets caught under a beam and he ends up in a hospital and all the greasers come by. Like, oh no, Daniel LaRusso, you're the karate kid, you can't die. And he looks up at that old pony boy and he says, Pony boy, always stay golden. And Pony Boy knows what he means because they read poetry together and he was reading from a poem. All that's green is gold. If you're green, if you got the green, the money, that you got the gold. <laughs> no, that does that mean if you're young, you're golden? You're valuable? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Socias didn't wear aviators, says Surrealist. That's right, they wouldn't wear the aviator sunglasses. So, uh, Joe Biden must be a greaser. That's right. <laughs> Joe Biden was the original greaser. I think it was Joe Biden got stabbed. No. But then, Daniel LaRusso croaks. And uh, that's the end of the book. And the end of the movie. And the irony is, he actually outlives half the uh I guess Patrick Swayze anybody else die from the outsiders Matt Dillon's career <laughs> yeah Matt Dillon's career and Patrick Swayze but to learn more about the outsiders read the book you guys I can't explain every book to you sometimes you're gonna have to sit down and just concentrate you can read a book it's not gonna kill you or watch the movie. It's a pretty good movie, too. Friendship says, stay golden, boy. That's right. You stay golden, friendship. Everybody remembers that. The Outsiders. The Outsiders. Out, Outsiders. C. Thomas Howell. Johnny LaRusso. Emilio Estevez, Patrick Swayze, Matt Dillon, and that guy. Rob Lowe. Thank you, Surrealist. Rob Lowe's selling diet food. Well, I think the proof is in Rob Lowe's 
flat abs. <laughs> Rob Lowe is 78 years old. <laughs> no, he's not. Yep. 78 and he still looks about 35. So whatever he's eating, I'm going to start eating. I think he's drinking adrenochrome. Or maybe he's drinking adrenochrome. I don't know. Anywho, sweetie, do you want to get up here and say hello to the Boujou crew? Sure, I'd love to say hello to the Boujou crew. All right. I should play a song so we can uh, transition over. Why don't you play a song from the other day? I could play Will I Ever See You Again? Yeah, I'll play Will I Ever See You Again. All right. Boujou, and welcome to Boujou Nana Boujou, a podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. My name is Michael Lyons, and today I'm going to play a song called... I was just going to do a Ojibwe song this morning, but I don't know if I'm feeling it. <laughs> You're not feeling it? La 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 And I remember one day You and me in the pouring rain Water ran down my chin So you pulled me close and you drank it in But I remember I you Remember a place where you pulled me close and you kissed my face. Will, will I, I, will I, I ever, ever see you again? again? No, I, I don't think I'll ever, ever see you. See you again. 